What's up, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. All right, guys, another episode of Making Moves. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the new players that we have on offense. Uh, really didn't change too much on defense. Uh, a couple things, but we're going to point those uh, bad boys out. Uh, I'm not going to talk about, you know, most of the guys that's, that's probably, you know, been on the team for a while, but just talk about the new additions, you know, the important stuff. Uh, as you guys see, the offensive line, ain't too much change here except, bam, except this position right here. And we got Josh sitting there now. Now, we had Steve Hutchinson. And, yeah, Steve Hutchinson is a higher overall. Let's uh let's check it out. All right. Steve Hutchinson is a 92 overall. Yada, 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 yada. Damn all that. He was letting me down some vicious. All right. You know, I mean, every time I look around, I got a, a, a big, just muscular man bearing down on. Pause. Hold on. We talking about football, okay? He letting go of his his, his block. He's trying to. He ain't blocking, okay? And one of them coming just 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 coming in every which way. I'm like, God damn, man! Like block your guy, Steve. But um, I don't know, man. It was it, it's just something about this car. It just wasn't it, it just wasn't clicking for me, man. Like I I I'll play some games, and you know he'll just be getting beat repeatedly uh, in the past game. Now, in the run game, he's an animal. He's an animal in the run game. You know, he, he does a fantastic job. Really not that great at pulling, but, like, going you know, like forward and just, you know, a, a man on a man, that he, he knocks it out the park. He's, he's great. But when it comes to blocking, oh, I mean, well, I'm talking about pass blocking, atrocious. You know what I mean? Like, he just, he just wasn't good at it. So the, the best – the alternative that I got is, is Josh Sitton. You know, uh, he has 95 pass blocking, you know, all that good stuff. Now, I played some games uh, with Josh Sitton already. In fact, they're probably going to be up like the same day that I upload this video, you know, but uh, he he's pretty good. You know, I, I, I like Josh Sitton, and I really didn't really feel like a, a, a fall off from, you know, re replacing him with, with Steve Hudson. You know, I thought I was like, well, the, the run game is going to suffer, or blah, blah, blah. Woo, woo, woo. No, I mean, it's, everything is, is still copacetic, you know. Uh, so what I'm going to end up doing, I'm probably going to end up uh, selling to Steve Hudson. And I think like, his pro I think his problem is his low pass blocking. I know 92 don't seem low, but when you're going up against these guys with, with 96 uh, power move or 96 finesse move or better and all that stuff, I mean, 92 is just it's, it's not good enough, guys. You, 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 you're going to get put in some bad situations. And to have pressure come in right in on your face, man, I, I hate that. I, I hate pressure coming in from my guard positions. You know, I'd rather it come from from the outside than it come straight up in my face, you know, because it messes up so so many things that I'm trying to do. Like, I can't step up in the pocket, and then I got to roll out. And by that time, you know, the outside guys are, are becoming a problem then. So you, you got to have those, those two inside guys uh, solidified and stuff like that. Uh, another, another motherfucker that and, and, and might be on his way out is Dos. You know, because he be letting pressure up the middle as well. Uh, he, I think his pad, what is, what is pad blocking there? Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm going to find this out on the phone. I, that didn't even make sense. All right. I couldn't find nothing to rhyme in my head. Oh, well, we, we sticking with it. Keep it rolling. But his, uh, his pass blocking is only 90. Like I said, man, like it's, it's a trend. You know what I mean? Like when, when I begin pressure and I look at their pass blocking, it's always, you know, l lower than like what? 93 or something like that. Uh, I never get any pressure from Kyle Long. Kyle Long handles his business. 95. Who would have thunk it? You know what I mean? It's like you, when 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 they stuff it at, at a certain level, you just don't get no pressure. Like you know, Walter Jones, all that stuff. Anyway, I'm talking about him too much. All right, let's uh, talk about the tight end. We got Gary Barnage and Josh. Uh, well, I'm talking about Josh. Jordan Reed as the two new tight ends. We've been here, at Kelsey guys. Uh, we had Tyler Eifert and stuff like that, and I, I really, I, 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 I still got him on the team. I'm probably going to end up selling them as well. Probably going to get too many coins for him, but I just did not like this card. Um, he wasn't a good run blocker, all right? Like, he, he's a pass catcher. That's it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he, he's not good at run blocking. Now, a, as soon as I inserted Gary Barnage into the lineup, automatic night and day change this 
this card honestly is probably one of my favorite tight ends in the game as as of right now. I mean, first of all, he's he's cheap. You know, saying so he's 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 affordable. I love cards like that. You know that that you know people can get. You know, I, I love showing you guys those type of cards. So you know, you if you want to go get them after you watch this video, you can go do it and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, as you guys see, man, the guy is a rocket man out there. 88 speed. Let's see what his acceleration is like. Uh, acceleration 93. I mean, he's so fast out there. I mean, I can really tell that. I mean, this this guy is is moving. Uh, his run block, as you guys see, is 83. Spec catch 86. Catching traffic, which is one of the most important stats for a tight end, is is 91. Uh, doesn't have you know the route running and stuff like a Jordan Reed or something like that. Oh yeah, let me let me talk a little about Jordan Reed. Jordan Reed, you know, he he's he's a situational guy. You know, he he's not a guy that that just comes in and plays. No, my my two starting tight ends, of course, is Travis Kelsey and Gary Barnett. You know, they they do a pretty good job. Jordan Reed is like when I want to go to you know certain formations, but I still want to have a tight end on the field. You know, just you know, kind of trick my opponent, like so they don't be like, okay, well I'm gonna go to quarters or whatever because he got wide receiver. But, you know, if they see a tight end, they're gonna be hesitant about putting quarters because they're gonna think you're running. You know, blah blah blah, all that good stuff. So you can put, you know, Jordan Reed out there, but still have the potential to really do some 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 devastating work. Say if he try to put a safety or or uh, God forbid a linebacker on Jordan Reed with that with his 90 route running. Uh, God bless his soul because I mean even even to get you know done in for real like Jordan Reed like this this card is very very good at running routes. Then let's uh, get into some of these other skill positions. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, now this uh, Alshon Jeffrey, the Drew Brees, and the Lamar Miller actually got that got those cards from a viewer. Uh, what is his name? Uh, Mocky Mines. Uh, appreciate it, bro, man. Shout out to you uh, for coming through like a boss. Uh, and you know obviously he knows what I like. He knows what Cooper pleasures in uh, because, you know, he offered up cars that, you know, I'm, I will actually use. And I've been using the hell out of them. You know, Alsha and Jeffrey is a man child. You know, run blocking, ridiculous, man. Like, he can catch everything. Just one of my most favorite re receivers that, that I've used this year, hands down. You guys know I'm a Saints fan through and through. I love my Saints, good or bad. It don't matter. That's my team. Uh, I like Drew Brees in real life. So uh, when I got the opportunity to to get this card when it jumped on it man it's a good card you know uh, I had the 92 overall Tony Romo card at first you know it's an alright card but Drew is definitely a better passer uh, he, he makes a lot of those throws that, that Tony just wasn't making and stuff like that so uh, happy about having this card as a starting quarterback uh, and then we got the Lamar Miller. I, I don't, I don't know what to say, man. Like it's, it's, it's one of the best running backs in the game. It really. I know some of you got like, ah, oh, you just got a mad crush on Lamar Miller, Cooper. You always talking that, la la. Man, look here. Shut up. <laughs> His card is good, bro. It's good. Just, just, just listen to me now, okay? Clean the twist roll out your ear. Listen to. Me. Speed kills. All right. Why you think? Dre Archer is, is so damn good in, in this game. I mean, just just having fast guys uh, this year, I think, you know, Madden knew that. That's why they, they dumbed the speed down so much this year, because they knew whatever they did to the coding or whatever, it just made it, it, it ridiculous. I don't, I don't give a damn if it's if it's offensive linemen, defensive linemen, who, it, speed kills. If you got fast guys at anywhere, it's, it's more prevalent this year that they're going to be better than the other players on the field plain and simple man it's it's, it's crazy man it's just something that that, that i peaked a while back when i first started you know saying playing a game but uh yeah man this uh this lamar miller man he, he's fast but he has so many other you know uh traits that that make him just such an animal man first of all i love his ball kick carry i said ball kick But uh, <laughs> his ball carry vision, okay? You guys see it right there. Carrying is nice. I wish carrying was a little higher. He does fumble from time to time because a lot of cars in this game are getting like real high hit power. So 93 isn't, you know, saying the optimal that you want your starting running back to be at. Uh, nowadays, you want to probably be around you know, 95, somewhere, somewhere around there uh, because a lot of guys have like at least 95 hit power. You want to match up with them. But uh, yeah, man, his agility and his ball carry vision make him one of the best 
just runners in the game as far as using him because he can maneuver. He, you can you can swerve him and stuff like that. Uh, I, I haven't used the new Barry Sanders card, but I'm pretty damn sure he plays similar to Lamar Miller. You know what I mean? Because you know that card has a lot of agility, uh, pretty good ball carry vision, and that's the way this Lamar Miller card is as well. Uh, so you know I'm I'm happy with him. You know I, I don't see me probably going after another running back right now. Uh, like I said, I still think he's one of the best running backs in the game. I, I can do everything I need with him. Eric Berry sucks covering. His coverage is atrocious, you know. And he was just he was just getting me messed up when I go to anything that had him covering by himself on that side of the field. Cover tools, hell, even sometimes what you know, uh, cover cover two two man under, you know. He, he was he just wasn't doing a good job in his zone, pretty much. You know what I mean? And I think he had what 80, 81 zone or something like that. Uh, he he was good at you know defending the run. You know that's about it. But anything that had to do with him covering, he just wasn't good at it at all. And he, he was hurting the team too bad. So I had to go on to get rid of him, man. Why? You know he he still had value. Uh, the car was was still going for something. So I went ahead and inserted, uh, I said, insert, inserted Tyron Matthew over here, and this card balls out. I like this card more than what, what I thought I would at first when I first got him, because I was just scared of his height. Uh, I was scared of his, you know, him, him not really being that good in the run game. Uh, but, dude, that pursuit that he had, let me show you guys, uh, that, that pursuit, that, that 95. That's a game changer, man. Like, he runs so many people down as long as he's not blocked. Once he gets blocked, it's over with. It's a done deal. You know, he's he's pretty much a non-factor at that point. But when when he's not blocked, you know, he's an animal. Like, say, when I go to my 4-6, if I remember, you know, I try to take him out the game and put uh, Landon Collins in there because Landon Collins, you know, he's just he a tank. You know, he's pretty much another linebacker uh, on, on the field. But... You know, other than that, man, like, you know, Tyron Matthew in coverage, awesome. You know, as you guys see, he has 93 zone coverage. He he makes stuff happen. He, he's he's got me so many picks. He is a super ball hawk. Uh, he And he holds on to the damn ball, Quinn. Quinn be, Quinn, Quinn good and everything, but sometimes, man, I don't know. Like, he don't hang on to enough balls, bro. Like, damn, bro. Like, you, you, when balls hit your hand, tuck, you hold on to them. Uh, Tyron, man, he, shit, if it hits his hand, he, he coming up with it. He going the other way. And w once he gets the ball in, in his hands, that, he, he's the funnest then because he's pretty much a return man. You know what I mean? Like, he, he has running back abilities. You know, he, he can juke, he can spin. He just do so many things. I, I, I really like this Tyron a lot, bro. Like, I'm, I, I don't see me letting him go for, for a while. Uh, let's see who else did, uh, oh yeah, as you guys see, Sean Lee. You know, we we also picked up the uh, 90 overall. Sean Lee, you guys remember I had uh, the 83 there for a long ass time, and uh, you know it, it was it was just about time. It was about time to upgrade uh, that position. So that what we did, and uh, I mean he's, he's hands down uh, head and shoulders better than <laughs> the 83, which he should be. He's, he's seven point overall uh, higher than than, uh, than the gold card. So, yeah, there ain't really too much to say about that one right there. And uh, we went ahead and picked up Rasheed Mathis. Now, this car right here is a game changer. Like, I mean, I, for for what I like to do, I I love zone coverage. Let me, show, let me show you this car. This guy has 97 zone coverage, right? And then he has... The zone defense chemistry, right? So that's adding even more to it. Plus, I run uh, the zone chemistry coach, which which gives a plus one to zone. Uh, he's just not that good in the run game. That's, that's the only problem I, I got with him, man. Like when I go against somebody that's run heavy, like myself, uh, you know, it, it's it, it gets kind of shaky over there on his side because uh, he he just can't hold hold up against, uh, like say like Alshon Jeffrey. Or Heinz Heinz Water destroy him, you know. I mean, just just cards like that is a no go. I I gotta put Antrell in 
at that point. That's why, you know, Antrell is still on the team. Uh, I mean, it's, it's more reasons than, than that. Antrell is still on the team. Antrell is a damn good card. Uh, and, you know, sometimes when I go to my quarters, you know, I, I, I like to put Antrell roll in and I like to put, uh, Patrick Peterson on, on the outsides because of their, uh, of their man coverage, man. And, and, and they do a fantastic job. Let me show you guys. As you guys see, you know, both of them have like, you know, very, very high man coverage, like 94, 96. But this is how my defense is looking right now, guys. I'm very happy with how these guys have been playing thus far. Um, you know, but we're still looking to upgrade. You know, you, you guys know I'm, I'm real big on getting pressure on the quarterback with my front four. So, you know, I'm always looking for, um, for different guys to use here. Uh, but these four guys right here, absolutely the best guys right now at this point in Mutt for a decent price. You know, I know I can get Jason Taylors and whoever, whoever, you know what I mean? But, you know, I, I like these guys. And you guys know I, I like finesse. I'm not a real, I'm not a big power move guy. Like power move just just doesn't seem like it works as good as finesse. Finesse is just dangerous, especially on the outside. You know, probably power move on the inside. Now I would try to probably get that uh get that Sue card. You know, if he was cheap, I ain't spending no damn million coins or nowhere close to that on his ass. If you get down to you know probably about five hundred k or something like that, yeah, I'd think about it. Um, but that's that's about it right there, guys. All right, so let's uh see about this uh steve hutchinson car see how much we can get for him you guys remember i said early on that i was gonna go on and uh put him on the auction block where we at all right should i add some contracts to him before i get rid of him all right so it looked like we can probably get around about about about, about 125 for him that's a that's a nice little come up it's gonna throw him up there real quick i don't need you no more player see you was good at that run game I used to hear them boys hollering when you grabbed them by the collar. Because they knew they had no damn chain. But, uh, your passing, your passing is garbage, brother. <laughs> it's great garbage, so you guys to go. You know what? I'm, I'm going to put some contracts on them, man. I, I, I hate when people put these cards up and they got like one, two, three, you know what I mean? Just contracts on them. Hey, put, put some contracts on the guy. At least... You know, get close to ten as possible. At least, uh, uh, at least get the goddamn contract I icon off the screen. Cause I, I know me personally, that makes me not even want you know certain cars when they just have low contracts. Even if the card is cheaper than the uh, than the next one up, I'm crazy like that. I know. I'm like, you gonna disrespect that man by putting him up there with no damn contract? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, let me see. What what I said I was gonna put this guy at about 125. There we go. There we go. All right, so we're gonna put him up, and we got one more, guys. We're gonna go and put uh, my boy at. He got to go too. You got to go, man. Curtis Lofton. Go and throw him up real quick, man, and we're gonna call this a video. Hold on, what the hell I'm doing? I'm about to put him up for nothing. <laughs> Wouldn't that suck? Wouldn't that suck if I, if, if I did that shit in the video? Just you know, mess around. Threw his ass up there for like how much? Let me see. Cause I, let me see how much they for a hundred coins. Oh my god, that I'd be sick. I'd be sick, sick and sick. I'd probably get physically sick. All right, how much we gonna get for him? Ninety k. That's it. I thought he was still going for about a hundred. All right, so damn, the lowest one is uh, about ninety. I got. I put him, I put him up for about, about 88. Gonna give somebody a deal. You know. I ain't trying to bust the head to the white meat. Now if I didn't have no coins up there. Shoot. I'd be messing the head all up. Alright. Alright, so what we said, we said 88, right? I don't give him a deal, man. There you go. Somebody jump on that. <laughs> All right, so we got those two cards up, and uh, yeah, that, that right there should do it, though, guys. I think uh, I think we're gonna wrap the video up uh, right here. Uh, hopefully, man, you guys enjoyed this making moves video. Uh, we actually made some moves, you know, as far as selling cards and stuff like that. Now we're gonna uh, be picking up probably some cards on the next one. Uh, I'm trying to get my coins up a little bit more because you guys know at this point. It's about making, you know, bigger purchases, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the little purchases and stuff like that. Like I'm not going to show you guys stuff like that, but like getting like a, 
a new car, an expensive car, a high overall car. That's, that's stuff that I'm going to present to you uh, fine people of YouTube land. Nonetheless, you guys let me know down in the comment section what you guys thought about it. Love to hear that stuff. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely hit that like button for your boy. Uh, anybody new to the channel, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Now, guys, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Cooper. Go live.